Good evening, friends. Now it's time for another of Papa Easy's Bedtime Stories. Uh, tonight, we are going to be reading Put Tony's Nuts in Your Mouth. Tony has big nuts and small nuts. He has pecans and walnuts. Nuts without or with a shell. There is no nut that Tony does not sell. Tony sells his nuts all day. He always has a line. Some say Tony's nuts smell great. Some say they taste divine. They drive or walk or ride the bus. They come from north and south to take these hot and salty nuts and put them in their mouths. Tony dips his chocolate nuts until they are just right. He knows your mom will take them home and suck on them tonight. BJ looks at Tony's nuts and tries hard not to stare as Stephen grabs at his nutsack and finds a big old pear. BJ plays with Tony's nuts in the closet at his house. Grandpa says he should just come out as he pops one in his mouth. Grandpa likes to go in there and take his camera with him. He loves to look at photographs when Tony's nuts are in there. He swears it isn't weird or queer. He says it's not a crime. Grandpa licks the salt right off of Tony's nuts sometimes. The girls too like Tony's nuts, if there's if this of this there is no doubt. Every girl around this town has put them in her mouth. On the way to school today, riding on the bus, the Johnson twins were in the back, sharing Tony's nuts. Back and forth they open up, hoping that they don't get those big and tasty nuts stuck down in their throat. Even Miss Bodique, the softball coach, and her special friend will have a go at Tony's nuts every now and then. There really is no argument. Mount Rushmore are to be a monument of Tony's nuts for all the world to see. The end. That was a wonderful story tonight, kids. Um, it's time for you to go to bed, and we will have another bedtime story tomorrow.